welcome or welcome back. My name is Alex and this is Budget Me Alex. I am a 30 year old all cash budgeter and I am on a journey to be completely debt free as well as I do have some pretty big savings goals. So if you're interested in this kind of content, just go ahead and continue watching. So today we will be stuffing a little bit less just because it is the end of the month, which means all of or the majority of my bills do get drafted this week. So I'm only going to stuff what I have to and everything else is already in my bank account to get drafted. So it will be a total of 453, I believe. So we're just gonna give it a quick count. Um, I'm gonna do that 50 later. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220. 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 323, 30, 340, 350, 360, 365, 370, 75, 80, 385, 390, 395, 400, 450, 451, 52, 53. So perfect, we have 453 and let's go ahead and unstuff my wallet really quickly. I've been doing my best not to spend too much from here, but you know, at the end of the day, it's still weekly expenses that I have to get out of the way. So we still didn't, you know, use everything. We still have some money left over, so I'm happy about that. We have $10 in gas, $10 in groceries. I didn't actually go grocery shopping though. So I think instead I actually ended up getting my eating out money from groceries because my eating out money is still <laughs> the full 50. So that was my bad, but it's okay. The money is there. It's all that matters. Personal still has its 20 and buffer still has the 10. That is only one of the receipts. I've been shoving everything in my purse lately, so I don't have too many receipts when I pull like out my wallet to go ahead and do my cash stuffing video, you guys. But just know I do have all my other receipts and I do scan them to my Upside app, my Fetch app, and my Ibotta one. Those are the three main ones that I've been using, but I do have other rewards apps, whether it's cash back or gift cards. So I have all of that in my description if you guys are looking for something like that. It's definitely worth it if you're spending the money anyway. All you do is scan the receipts and it gives you extra points for whatever. So to all in all that we have for rollover this week, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, which is very exciting because this is gonna go towards my debt. So I will be putting that in that binder in a little bit, but first let's go ahead and stuff this for the week. We are putting $50 for gas. I just got gas last night. So depending on how much I'm gonna be driving this week, which I don't know, I think it's just gonna depend how much Uber Eats I decide to do this week, but I haven't really been doing it lately. So I don't know, I kinda wanna get back into it, but we'll see. Groceries, it's gonna get another 50. Eating out gets 50 as well. Personal gets its usual 20. And a buffer will get its usual $10. I found that this is still what's working for me as far as my weekly wallet money. Um, usually if I need a little bit extra, then I'll go, I'll go through like my binders and stuff. But really, this has been working well for me. I haven't really been going out much. I haven't been leaving my house. And when I do, I actually haven't been spending much money. So we're good with that so far. Let's go into my bills binder, which isn't going to be everything. Just what's going to be still that I need to stuff because Mazda and Geico will both be drafted tomorrow, so I'm not worried about that. But life insurance does get $50. So we have 50, 100, 150. Verizon will get 35. And then you will notice a few of these envelopes are looking a little bit different. It's the same amount but I kind of had to be my own bank this time because I didn't feel like going to the bank. And usually at the end of the month, when I'm pulling out my money to 
go into my bank anyway for my bills then i can kind of play around with it and give myself my denominations instead of having to run to the back bank my money's already in there and then i get the denominations that i need so it's kind of a win-win uh verizon now has 100 120 130 135 140 subscriptions i'm not stuffing today that's actually already going to be drafted through my account as well so we're not going to worry about that one next is my home binder i'm not stuffing rent that's already been sent so that's also in my account but each utility will be getting ten dollars each today electric has 20 30 40 and i'm pretty sure they all have the same so i don't know if i'm actually gonna like count them unless i notice anything different but yeah this is the same as well I can't believe it's already the end of January. I feel like this month seriously, like I feel like it went slow, but it flew at the same time. I can't really describe it. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. We're already gonna go into February and pretty soon we're going to the first quarter of the year, which I'm like, normally I'm not the type to say, oh my gosh, now it's this time, now it's this time, but I feel like time's just going by faster and faster. Internet has 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. That was the only one that was different. And that is it for my home binder. Okay, so next, I did tell you guys that all of my rollover money I'm putting towards credit cards. And this also was able to fit in here because a lot of this money was able to be my bank for what I needed for these denominations. So I ended up switching out the bigger bills from like rent and Mazda and stuff like that. And I was able to put the bigger ones in here and switch them out for the denominations that I needed. So let's add what we had for this week and then we'll count the money that we're putting towards debt. And it's really exciting because this isn't money that I budgeted for specifically for my credit card debt. This is money that was just leftover extra for my wallet and it was so much less pressure to be able to put this aside because it was money that was already budgeted for something else and I didn't use it. So it kind of feels like extra money, even though I know it's technically not, but it makes it a lot easier and more motivating in my mind. So for credit card debt, we have 1, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 380, 390, 400, 410, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 417 dollars. That's going to go towards my credit card debt. And this was not budgeted okay this was just rollover money so that was an extra four hundred dollars that we're able to put down on top of my youtube paycheck that i did that i used for my credit cards as well that was another around after like my giving to my church my tithes and everything it was like 200 and something also after taxes um so four or five that's about six hundred dollars you guys so if you don't have the money to set aside on top of your personal budget then whatever you have left over for the week, put it aside. And at the end of the day, even if it's only $50, you guys, it's $50 that you put extra. So I highly suggest that. It feels like such a relief to be able to do this. So I will be putting this aside because I am going to pay this um, <laughs> literally today. So I'm very excited about that. And yeah, we're gonna move on. Next month, we'll do another count of how much we were able to put aside. So I'm excited about that. I feel like it's more motivating. Emergency today is gonna get $20 in the bank already. Not in the bank, in my high yield savings account. I do have 130. So, or sorry, I have 100. So I don't know, I don't wanna confuse it. So I'm just gonna count it as if we're starting over, even though I have money in my high yield savings from the first 100 that we were able to hit. So technically now we have 20, 40, 50. As soon as this hits 100, it's gonna go into my high yield savings and so on and so forth. I just don't wanna keep too much cash in my home. Um, I know a lot of cash stuffers do it. That's cool if it works for you. It makes me a little bit nervous. So I would rather, as soon as it hits 100, Put that in the bank and then you know if somebody were to break in god forbid it's fifty dollars instead of like 550 you know what i mean so i would i don't know to me that just works out for me so buffer will get twenty dollars as well 
And let's see, for buffer we have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. That is very exciting. This will be taken out now and be in my checking account. So this will be my checking account, like my debit card buffer. I've explained it to you guys before. Basically, I like to do that because sometimes um, there's gonna be something unexpected that comes out of my account or let's say I go out to eat with friends or family and somebody pays and it's like, okay, just Zelle or Venmo me. And it's usually somebody, it's always somebody that doesn't really use cash. So it's nice to already have it in my checking account and then I end up just paying myself back afterwards. So that's why I really like a buffer. I think it's very necessary for everyone to have a buffer, especially because there's a lot of places now that are cashless. So I think it's just smart overall. If you didn't have it for anything other than a buffer, I think it just makes sense. Um, nothing for YouTube, business taxes, nothing like that car maintenance today let's see what did i put for it we're just putting ten dollars today so we have 20 40 50. i need to save up for some tires which are going to be very expensive car registration will be getting five dollars which is going to get smaller amounts but i don't want to end up having to front load a bunch like i did last time so ten dollars currently i already paid them i already have my new year tags and registration so that won't be due for until next january we're not gonna worry about it and that's it for here oh i put these in the opposite order today that's okay let's see here family today will be getting five dollars i have 55 Grandparents will also be getting $5, so they have $25. My grandma said that she's going to be coming over to my house next week and we're going to be making homemade tortillas, so I'm very excited about that. I'm like, I've been asking her to help me or teach me to make them for the longest time and we just have not had the chance. So I told her to come by this week or this coming week, whatever. And she's gonna help me. And I told my mom and sisters if they wanted to come over and help us while they could. So 25 for gifts. So it's gonna be a little bit of a girl's day. And Christmas, as much as I don't wanna stuff it, I'm gonna put at least $5. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't even wanna think about Christmas anymore, you guys. Like the whole, I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm over the amount of presents and money that I have to spend. Right now, I'm trying to save as much money as I can and not spend in any category unless I absolutely have to. And so just knowing that I have to start saving for Christmas, like, it just sucks. Holidays gets five, so we're at $10. This one makes a little bit more sense just because, you know, you got 4th of July or you got, you know, whatever little holidays. You got Easter, things like that and if there's a potluck or something like it just makes sense to have a little bit of a buffer for that so that's why i'm going to continue to do that okay so i didn't laminate it but i figured it's okay we're just going to color it in so today i will be starting my mini savings challenge and this is from budget with jess i did mention her last time and i showed you guys all the little goodies and um, savings challenges that she gave me, so I'm very excited about it. Today, we are gonna be starting with $15, and I figured it would just, you know, should I actually do different colors? Let me see what I have, hold on. Okay, so I don't know if this is actually, let me see. Oh yeah, this is like this, it's the actual color of the pen. So we're gonna start off with 15, color that in. It's like a vomit green, apparently. <laughs> Oh well, it's fine. I just want it to be different colors. And if it all ends up being that color, it's totally okay. But let's see here. We let me get an extra ton. So 15 for our first challenge money. And this is supposed to add up to $300. Most likely, you guys, it's gonna go towards debt, but you know, we'll see as the time as time goes on. But I'm thinking it'll just be a debt payment because why not? Miscellaneous today, we'll be getting $20. We are now at 70. My boyfriend will be getting 10. His birthday is in March. I don't even know if he's gonna want a present, but you know, 
I'm saving either way. 20, 30, 40. I feel like lately we've been both more into like saving money than going all out for presents or anything like that. Like for Valentine's Day, we decided that we just want to get like Thai food and have a movie night. So it's going to be pretty chill. I'm actually, I think sometimes I get more excited about like the boring days because to me, I'm naturally an introvert and a homebody than to have like this whole itinerary of things planned. So if you guys are like that, let me know. I personally enjoy those days most. Health today gets $10, so we're at 15. Um, but you guys let me know if, I mean, it is nice to dress up every once in a while. Like I love when he makes reservations for dinner out in like LA or something like that or Orange County, but sometimes I really enjoy just being lazy. <laughs> um, Let's see, I ended up taking out the money for travel, but I'm gonna put $13 in there today because my parents want to take 10, 11, 12, 13. I think it's gonna be, I don't know if my whole family or what, but my family wants to go to Mexico literally just for three days in February. They said that the flight round trip is only like $100. And I think, I don't know, my dad is from Guanajuato, León, Guanajuato, and so he really wants to go back and visit, and so we said, okay, cool, like, the flights are actually really cheap, we're not going to be there a long time, it's only going to be, like, a three-day trip, but, you know, I want to have something saved, so I'm going to start with that, but anyway, that is all for today's video, thank you guys so much if you stick around all the way to the end, I really appreciate you guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, it'll really support my channel, and I'll see you all next week, bye! Thank you.